Hi there, welcome to the SLU blog. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Charles Williams. I've just read uh, his biography, this one, The Third Inkling. I highly recommend it. So this sort of ties quite nicely into um, uh, something that I want, wanted to do with this vlog and that is talk about um, all four major inklings. So I've done a couple of videos on Owen Barfield and uh, Williams is the the one that I have know the least. Um, I've read three of his novels and that and uh, and that's that's about it. Um, so the the book was called The Third Inkling and in a way he's the I think the least inkling of the four. Um, and I say that because um, he developed uh, as a writer, as an artist, as a thinker, as a theologian, um, uh, entirely separate from the Inklings. He only met up with the Inklings in later life when he'd already written um, most of his novels, uh, a good portion of his books, uh, his ideas were set and I, I think in a way the other inklings are really um, for his story um, but parts. Um, it's not too wrong to consider him an inkling because he did attend inkling meetings uh, during the war uh, and he influenced I think particularly um, C.S. Lewis. But as I say, Charles Williams in himself um, was quite different. Uh, well, he his development was independent, whereas I think uh, Lewis, Barfield and Tolkien, um, there's an intermingling of influences uh, at a formative stage um, in their work. What's also interesting about Williams is that the lack of um, formal university education. So uh, he was quite poor, he came from a poor family and um, uh, he did well academically but he had to um, pull out because he um, couldn't afford tuition. He went and worked for Oxford University Press um, and grows up and did um, a lot of uh, important editorial work um, and, and so you know he's got something of uh, the self-made man about him. Um, he's touched by magic <laughs> um, uh, literally in that um, uh, he became a member of um, A.E. Waits, uh, Rosicrucian, Christian Rosicrucian uh, magical organization and um, uh, was influenced by Waite and, um, and um, he may have actually um, been a member of the later Golden Dawn as well. What the Rosicrucian organization tended to do was um, have uh, dramatic rituals and he wrote a number of plays and so what did he get from uh, these magical organizations as I say a, a sense of uh, ritual and drama um, and I think a, a sense of uh, the integration of that into his life you know that he um, staged a number of dramas and um, uh, both in Oxford University Press and, and different um, uh, dramatic um, settings uh, and there's a real sense that um, uh, he's, these stagings are magical operations um, uh, to, to draw um, divine influences into the world. Um, the uh, teaching um, has a large Kabbalistic um, element to it and um, he thought very highly of A.E. Waite's uh, uh, book on the Kabbalah 
which I've ordered and am interested to read. <laughs> uh, the Tree of Life was a basic diagram for reality and uh, for a person as well. Um, so it would have the ten Sephiroth. So you see how it's got all those circles, those are the Sephiroth. And uh, for the Golden Dawn uh, magical system, they had ten. I think there are earlier versions of the Kabbalah with um, seven Sephiroth. And uh, I think each of those Sephiroth were uh, associated with planets. So the tenth was Earth, ninth was uh, Moon, eighth. Uh, was Mercury, 7th Venus, so forth, Sephiroth. And between the Sephiroth were pathways and um, the Golden Dawn laid out the the major arcana from the tarot cards is the pathways between various Sephiroth. So there's 22 pathways, a pattern in which all knowledge could be fitted into. You know, you've got martial knowledge, uh, knowledge of love and so on. Um, he he um, sort of started his own organisation. His main uh, theory seems to be coherence, that um, we're all connected and you can choose to take on um, people's, other people's um, problems and it's actually easier for you to bear other people's problems than your own. Uh, if somebody's giving a, a talk and a, the, on coherence and they're really worried about it. Um, another member of, of the organization can take on their worry for them and so it allows them to, to do their talk. Um, now there's a lot of um, falling in love I think in <laughs> Williams and it, it makes his uh, biography feel a little bit problematic. Um, uh, he did get married reasonably early and um, never divorced so uh, he, he had this relationship with his wife to the end and it's quite nice at, at the end of his life he seemed to um, appreciate his lo his wife um, a lot more um, but he had these romantic relationships uh, which were it seems uh, not consummated and uh, even that was part of it you know he uh, wrote a book on Dante uh, the figure of Beatrice and uh, of course Dante um, loved this woman from a distance and uh, not even sure if um, she knew about Dante, uh, Be Beatrice, um, uh, whereas the woman that um, Williams loved, um, they certainly knew about it and it was re reciprocal. Um, uh, he didn't really seem to drop anybody, you know, if, if he loved somebody, <laughs> he continued to love them. Um, the reader sort of groans a little at certain points certainly towards the end there's a few incidents that you just go oh no Charles I wish you hadn't <laughs> um, oh I don't know what to say about his novels um, they're generally um, set in this world with a sort of inrush or an outbreak of the uh, divine divine influence into the world um, and again they're, they're well worth the read um, but I think what I also got from it was that um, his work isn't just his novels. So uh, he wrote sort of some theological works. Um, he wrote uh, the, the book on Dante. Um, there's a number of plays and he wrote at least um, his Arthurian poems, uh, which stand up beside the best 20th century um, poetry although I don't feel like I've got to the heart of Charles Williams and I don't claim to have um, but I just thought I'd make uh, this little uh, 
video on his work, a provisional one, and uh, maybe at some stage when I've read some more, I'll make a sequel. Thank you.